Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for joining us uh, on our first episode of Spitting Facts. This is going to be a kind of a series of me just talking shit, honestly. Uh, we're going to hit different topics that I believe could benefit you and hopefully brings you value. And I'm just going to speak my mind, my opinion on uh, these certain topics. As this grows as a series, feel free to uh, DM me on Instagram, comment in the comment section below, and uh, let me know what else you want me to talk about. All right, for our first episode, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna give you guys a little quick story time, okay? I wanna remind you also, all of this is really raw, it's just me talking into the camera. All right, so there may be some flukes, don't worry about it, don't trip, we're gonna keep going. I wanna start off with the, uh, a story, quick story. Uh, this is me back in the day, this is when I first started uh, realizing that, hey, I want to experience more women in my life. I want to go out and I want to talk to girls. I want to talk to people. I just want to grow in that aspect. And I was younger. I, was, I would say about 21. Um, it's probably the, the, this is probably where you guys are at right now. A lot of you guys are at right now. And um, anyway, what I realized back then was that a lot of dudes did not have the balls to just go up to anybody, especially at the, at that age, 20, 21. And I just knew that, hey, if I want to talk to more girls, I just got to go do it. Wherever I see a pretty girl, I got to go do it. And um, let me start off the story by setting the place. We were at a Buffalo Wild Wings once, and uh, me, my brothers, and one or two friends, and we were sitting at a table watching a basketball game. And we're having a good time. Three or four girls walk in, and one of them has a nice booty. She looks cute. I'm like, okay, I, I want to talk to this girl. And... I told my boys, like, I want to go talk to them. They're like, ah, oh, dude, don't do that. We're at a restaurant. Like, we're over here at Buffalo Wild Wings. We don't want all that attention. But something told me, I got to do this. I got to go, and I just got to go approach. And this is before I knew anything about game, anything about approaching, none of that shit. Anyway, we, she, they sit down. I look over. She makes eye contact. I make a little eye contact. I was like, cool, I definitely got to do this. I wait till the end before I leave. I finally go up. I end up talking to this girl. Long story short, I get her number, right? One of the, I think the the most attractive girl in that establishment at the time. Get her phone number. She's like, yeah, I actually live far, so we probably won't ever see each other. Like, well, whenever you're in town, let's let's grab a drink or let's do something, let's hang out. And what made it so natural was that I always had that ability to just converse, and that's all it was was conversation. I didn't understand how to escalate, how to show intent how to really have many closes throughout the conversation to establish in her head that, hey, you and I, we're going to go out. But what I did notice was because I had the balls to approach, people noticed. She noticed. I stood out. Her friends noticed me, and I stood out to them. And all her friends, I gained social proof by doing that. Now, what other, what else, another person that noticed where two guys sitting at the corner of the bar, older dudes, they were both hanging out. As I walk out of the door, they pull me aside. Hey, yo, come here. Hey, man, we saw you go up to that girl. Great job, man, great job. I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. He's like, dude, and you got a number? I'm like, yeah. They were very impressed. My point is this. On your journey, you will have to do things that make you uncomfortable. While you do that, people will notice. You may have supporters, you may have people that bring you down, but just know that in the end, those people are jealous, the ones that bring you down are jealous because they wish that they could do what you're doing. And those who support you, they admire you because they wish that they could do what you're doing. Those guys straight up told me, bro, that takes a lot of balls. I wish I could do that. Literally what came out of their mouths. And they were so impressed that I went up to some random girl and just started talking. As you progress, you will have this. And if this isn't worth it to you, and it's not just about talking to girls, it's about having the confidence and the ability to speak to anybody at any time and develop genuine connections and relationships that's going to project you to the next level as a man, then I don't know what else can excite you. So welcome. I hope that first story was uh, something that caught your attention that you resonated with. If you did resonate with it, Please make sure to comment in the comment section below, like and subscribe, and stay up to date. We're going to post more shit here on YouTube, and uh, also make sure to follow the Instagram, The Grizz Cave.
Thank you, Jim, and I appreciate you for joining me. We'll see you next time.